Hey everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing. Uh, you guys have it on your GPS when I called, I believe. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing. Please remember to subscribe. So it was a day kind of like any other day. I mean, that sounds cliche, but it really was. We were staying in Saxon in a campground just outside of Saxon, Wisconsin. And we were heading into rural Superior and I looked up into the mirror, uh, side mirror. I don't know why I did, but we had a new truck that had the massive side mirror. So I noticed um, white smoke coming out of uh, the tires on the trailer. I wasn't sure, I thought maybe we blew a tire and our TPMS didn't go off, so I figured maybe that's not it. I, then I thought I overheated the brakes. And I was on a call with a client, and mm -hmm. I did not know what was going on mm -hmm. at all. I, I got off of my phone call, and I jumped out, um, you know, because you had said, oh my God, or something like that, mm -hmm. and, and pulled into a driveway and got out, and so then I went out to see what was going on. Right, the thing about it was, is the road that we were on was a very busy two-lane road, um, so there was nowhere to go. At first I thought, I'll get over, but then I remembered we had just come up over a little hill, and nobody behind us would have seen that we were uh, on the road there. So I thought, we can't stay on this road, um, and I saw a driveway off to our left, and I thought, that's where we have to go. And, and now Dave is over here on the phone with the uh, roadside assistance. Thank you for that information. And can you confirm the location that you're in today? Uh, you guys have it on your GPS when I called, I believe. The highway behind us here is a one lane in each direction and we had to get off of the highway and pull into the driveway really quickly so that we didn't injure ourselves or anybody else on the highway and the homeowner actually just got home a few minutes ago and was very irate uh, at you know asked what we were doing and the first question she said was what is all of this on my driveway very upset at us and so I explained to her that uh, we were in a dangerous situation and had to get off of the highway and that we would take care of anything on her driveway so she scooted around us with a scowl on her face and went into her house and slammed the door. I don't know what else we could have done. All right, Let's see how that works. I have Lee Road, Lee Road as, your cross, as your cross street. Sure, I have no idea, we're not from here. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Thank you very much. And Dave, would you mind if I put you on a brief hold so I can find a provider to come out? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So this is what happened. This is what it should look like. And this is what it does look like. Again should look like, does look like. Not good, is it? Nope. I first opened this door, it was horrible. You could hardly breathe inside. So let's take a look. Yep. Can still smell it, but it is getting a lot better. What do you have in your hand there? Fire extinguisher, so I sprayed. Um, down where the smoke was and that seemed to calm it down a little bit uh, But yeah, having a second fire extinguisher other than the one that's inside is uh, in my opinion key and well worth the money to replace this 
Here's one thing we learned is have all <laughs> of your documents in one place that you will not forget where they are. Glove compartment's a great spot. It's a gr great go-to spot. We didn't have our tow card. We didn't have our insurance card handy that I remember. I had to call our insurance company. Thank goodness this happened before 5 p.m. They were there, they got us in touch with everybody. Um, so make sure you have all of that stuff in one envelope where everybody knows where it is. In the shop. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna put it on the flatbed and they have to remove the back jacks apparently because as it comes up um, the back stabilizers are gonna hit and this will barely make it on there. They know what they're doing. They do. At least we hope. <laughs> we have no other choice. So we waited for a while uh, for the tow truck, probably close to 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and and uh, we just sat there and waited and then the homeowner came back out of her yeah. home. And she came up and said, are you guys okay? And I <laughs> did a little scooby. And I said, yeah, we are. And I said, I apologize, you know, thank, and then and I said, thank you so much for giving us this space to be able to get off this road because it was really scary out there. There was nowhere to pull over. And she ended up being one of the nicest people I've ever met. She was a sweetheart. How are you feeling right now? I feel good. I mean, you know what? You, what are you going to do? You got to figure it out. We didn't get in an accident. Nobody got hurt. It's the way it goes, and it's not 170 degrees, it's not raining, it's not snowing. We met Judy, she invited us in for waters. <laughs> oh, I wonder if she had cookies. Did she have cookies? No. Oh, my God. This lady re-sheet rocked her whole house by herself, re-roofed her garage by herself, and she's 71? 75. 75, wow. Mm -hmm. Probably should have her out doing this too. She should probably, probably have it back at the shop by now. <laughs> I can't look. I feel like I'm on pins and needles right now. Well, he's it's strapped down. I mean, we might get there tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh boy. Jeez. Go, go. It's. Oh my gosh! It's leaning so much to the side. We wanted experiences. Yes, we did. So we spent the night here last night and to the sound of trains backing up and all night cycles. long, honking the horns because they have to go over the tracks every time they back up to drop off. Um, cars and then motorcycles coming by but we got through the night 
And now we're gonna go over to Moon's Auto Service and Exhaust and Superior and see if they can help us out, see what they can do. Wish us luck. So we're just waiting for them inside. They're taking a look at it. They just backed it in. And they got us in right away, which is really cool. They just, uh, we walked over first thing in the morning and they were like, yeah, let's get it over here. Let's pull it in and take a look. And we didn't know if they would say, well, we can't get to it until Monday, but kind of a father and son team. And the father said to the son, get out there, get it over here. Let's get it in here. Let's clear a space for them. And here we sit. So far, so good. Moon Auto Service and Exhaust in Superior, Wisconsin. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're gonna look to see if, uh, if the axle's saveable. Okay. So, what happened here is it ran out of grease ripped the outer race out of the bearing, so now it's just riding metal on metal. So generally what happens is the bearing welds to the spindle. So okay. what you saw with the, with all the heat, mm -hmm. and you can see how dry that is in there. Yeah, it's got real hot. How long do you think it rode like that for? Um, before you would know it, it's it's tough to tell because okay. generally, as a rule, you're not you're not riding in the camper, so you can't feel or hear the noise okay. until it's it's too far. I talked to Rob, the guy working on our camper right now, and he said that. They think they'll be done by 2 o'clock this afternoon. They're going to order um, some new bearings, some better bearings, not the ones that come stock on the camper. Apparently, um, they're kind of knockoffs, so they're just subpar, um, just not as good as the ones that he's going to order now. So he'll get those in, and then they're going to try to get that done by uh, 2 o'clock this afternoon. So we're going to go grab a bite to eat at a local cafe, something, because our camper is out of commission right now and then we'll come back and see how it goes. Have some time to kill. So we're gonna go get breakfast. At Julie's. Because we don't really wanna sit in our outdoor kitchen inside of the garage as they're working on it and make our scrambled eggs and toast. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Julie's Cafe. It was highly recommended by the people at Moon Automotive Repair Shop. Let's go check it out. Come along. Do you guys want to be on our series? No. We just met three gentlemen, uh, older gentlemen, who were all named Bob, and they called themselves the Bob's Club, the Bob Club. And they've been coming here to this cafe for 23 years at 9 o'clock in the morning once a week for 23 years and they were so full of personality it was Bob Bob and Bob and they said there used to be a couple other Bobs who no longer um, come with them so the Bob Club very cool to meet them <laughs> I love how the Bobs were watching us through the window and we had the camera and as soon as we walked in they said, come on in, why are you filming, what's going on, who are you? 
<laughs> and then they proceeded to talk to us for about 20 minutes. And we could have just kept on talking and listening. They were great. Bunch of characters. If you want to know what's going on this in this town, talk to the Bobs. Talk to the Bobs. Yeah, forget the newspaper, forget the radio station, just talk to the Bobs once a week and you've got the lowdown. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> So we're in Superior, Wisconsin, and I don't know if you know the area, but uh, it, this is Packers country. And so then this car pulled up right outside of Julie's Cafe where we had breakfast, and take a look at this. Need I say more? almost time that they said it would be done so I'm gonna head back over take a look I see it's still in the bay so we'll find out if it's finished but this is this is what's left of the outer bearing this one was dry okay the back axle and the other side had plenty of grease in it okay so they I missed I think one I think this one got away with not enough grease in, in the in the in the bearings otherwise there would have been two that would have been bad Okay. What we did is we put new bearings. There's new high grade bearings in the back. So they it probably at the manufacturer got they just didn't. Yeah. The, the, well, when they when they put it together, they obviously didn't they, they didn't put enough grease. Well, well, here's the deal. We have to get a new axle. At least we can make it back to Minnesota on the what they put in. But what happened was is with the manufacturer at Rockwood the plant they didn't grease one of the bearings enough so it completely shredded the axle so now we have to try to figure out if we can get a new axle well we have to get a new axle and they put heavier duty bearings in because the bearings that they put in at the manufacturer to probably save money are cheap right so they put new bearings in all of the other ones right right and so we don't have to worry about it happening with the other wheels right. they put them in the other two on the back axle the front one still has the original axle because when they put the new axle on, they'll put better bearings in. And this is just my take on it. I would rather spend the money up front for a camper that they use top shelf parts rather than use subpar parts. And then we have to figure out which parts we have to upgrade. Like putting I agree. Cheap I mean, tires, cheap drums, cheap. I agree. We, we've got new tires already. Yep. We upgraded a few other mm -hmm. things, um, and not knowing that we had to upgrade that is really tough because now we're faced with a six hundred and fifty dollar bill. These guys were great. Yeah, these you know, guys they, are awesome. They deserve to get paid for everything they did, um, and then it's probably going to cost us what another thousand dollars for um, an axle. For an axle. And we love our Rockwood Mini Light, but yeah, again, it would have been nice to know that and we would have upgraded what we needed to. I guess maybe it's on us because we didn't do enough research on that. Yep. So this really should not have happened and it's really disappointing. But then again, we knew living this lifestyle that we were going to have things like this go wrong. Mm -hmm. And we were going to have expenses, so that's something you have to be prepa yep. prepared Set for. Set money aside. When you go full time. Then again, I look at sticks and bricks, and I, what does a new deck cost? What does a new furnace cost? What does a new AC unit cost? I sent 5000 on my central air, on our central air system. It's all of the price of living life. Hey, thanks everybody for watching another episode of the Border Hookup Scarfing. Please remember to subscribe and ding that bell so that we can notify you as to when we have more episodes coming out. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit the thumbs up and please comment below if you have anything to share. And we hope to see you all out there. We'll see you all out there. Okay, let me say all the way to welcome to another episode of. And then you say the border hookups go RV. Does you that work? It doesn't have to be that complicated. It doesn't. No. You have a bug flying around it's your hat. It's that same one. It's the same one. <laughs> it's we killing should name me. It's it. killing me. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of The Border Hookups Go RVing. <laughs> That's cheesy. <laughs> My little.
thumbs up is that's, that's a little thumb. <laughs> that little baby thumb. It's not a baby thumb. Little doll thumb. Just because you have massive hands. Ah, you know how easily I can get a ride <laughs> hitchhiking compared to you? All right. I can see this baby like six miles away. All right. Thank you. We'll do it again? Okay. Hey everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Border Hookups. I can't keep a straight really? face. No, not with all these Nut people job. watching. There's nobody <laughs> watching. Okay. Mm. Our battery's about to die. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to... <laughs> I've never seen you laugh this I much. Know. I'm usually dead inside. <laughs> you are. <laughs> this is very different. You're usually not so smiley. <sighs> all right, ready? You start. I'm gonna cry. <clears throat> dead kittens, dead kittens, dead kittens, dead kittens, puppies, dead puppies, dead puppies. Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Border Hookups Go RVing. <laughs> I looked over there. Did you? Yeah, okay, again. I looked over there. Hey everyone. Welcome. <laughs> really? Can't find good talent anywhere. Oh, we don't look very hard. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right let's make this one count. Go. hey everyone welcome to another episode of the border hookups go rving that was nice. good way to go okay, okay let's do our do outro stop it? no um if you have any thoughts oh we'd love to hear your thoughts <laughs> <this one. laughs> what is going on know. with you i'm just so joyous